did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm-hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Faripsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Faripsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. Why are you even interested? Jins are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a Jin, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. Know where to look? For the mage and the Jin? The locals say they last saw Amos's ship off the coast of Hindisfjall, just before a once in an eon storm broke. Dad will find them then. Mage is probably fish food. And the Jin escaped. Not necessarily. But even if it is so, I'll not give up without seeing some evidence. Will you help me? I've no gold to offer in reward. But I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. Join Hawker on some way. Come, the landing's not the theory like that. You mean? So you've managed to prepare everything already? I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. Ever fight a dragon? Fancy a pint when you're done. Sail to the court and trade? Any truth to that? Lead the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. The ship carrying the gin sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice? No. Not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before, do you remember? Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> How lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah... And as for your missteps... I don't like you see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. How's it going? Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? Who would need me if I did? Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside. Snapped man. 
chests, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners, probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew, then made their nest here. There's also a Clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. the leads take us. Say we find the gym. What do we do? Ask for a beautiful house, and a palace, and a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gym? Have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn and do. Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Found a wreck. It's been here a while. Woods are on it. Look around, but be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's... A man's skeleton. Somebody pinned his skull to the deck with an axe. A death worthy of a Skelliger. Clan emblem indicates a demon man, so he was from Pharaoh. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Yen, doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. Got a chest. Really old. Must have fell off the wreck to launch it. Can you open it? Hoping for pirate treasure. I hope to find the gin. Try to open it. Beautiful craftsmanship. What do you have? A war horn. Bearing Clan Hamai symbols. Longship belonged to Clan Dimon. Now that's what I call war booty. Have you found the gin? No, but I found something that could be just as valuable to me as the gin is to you. Quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the golden dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. strange about those There's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell, to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see fortia bedem ein eichter illivade. 
That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. I always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Fortia Badem Ein Achter Ilivade. Hmm, something cut this basket exactly in half. Hmm. Something cut this basket exactly in half. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon could do this, but whatever cut the basket probably could. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. Silver. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Ship belonged to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. It could very well be his ship. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Three! Said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this gin? But you already know. A djinn's power is priceless to a mage. That I know. But I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. <sighs> how long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us. Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it. This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another, or if we'll be like two strangers. Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the djinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Djinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. We should explore the ship. This means. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Yen, think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. 
think the Jin did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even. And the Jin granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the Jinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame Jinn. Riff Kaishta Aim Gaia. Kaishta Et Displayer. Givered Me Castle. Free. 